This is a Game Caviar production. Crisis 3. Crisis 3. I finally bought it. I got it. Picked it up today. Actually, my wife picked it up for me because I had some other things to do, like watch our kids. Anyway, uh, off the bat, man, straight up, this game looks amazing. Graphics are good. I'm on Xbox 360, and uh, I play on a LED LCD TV, which is just a LED TV with a, with a LCD uh, back. Wait, I think it's a L it's a LCD TV with a LED backlight, or some some shit like that. I don't know. It's some sort of trickery. But anyway, it's a 1080i uh, television, and the graphics are crisp. They are. They're, of course, they're not going to be as good as they are on PC, but they look amazing, and they look really good for an Xbox 360 game. Now, I know that Xbox 360 games, the Xbox 360 isn't as powerful as the PlayStation, but there are developers like Crytek who are able to make beautiful-looking games. This game, let's do a comparison. This game looks a million times better than Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It does. And it actually plays better. Uh, I was looking at a, a El Presador video, and he was saying that this game doesn't run on uh, dedicated servers. But uh, there was only one instance of lag that I can remember. This is like my second or third uh, match. And this match, I went beast mode. Like, I demolished people in this match. I wish the match was 10 minutes long, and I have a thing about uploading 10 minute videos. Like, I'm totally against it, but I wish that I can actually play the whole match. Like, I think that uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the, the Twitch TV. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start streaming, uh, streaming the whole match in a loop so you can see it. Uh, TwitchTV.com not having it. But, um, but, yeah, I went absolutely bananas in this match. And this game is so fun to play that it's, it's crazy. And I got all these extras for buying the game some special edition or whatever you know uh it's probably the same thing that everybody else got there that has the game the like the compound bow and everything which i haven't used the compound bow in this game i have a compound bow in real life because i hunt and compound bows are, are awesome like seriously so if i can get the same excitement in this game while using the compound bow that i do in real life then that's only a plus i doubt if i will but at the same time, it's cool that they added it to, into the game and that it seems like it's a really useful weapon. It's not some cheesy weapon or something. Like, let's be honest. If that, if a compound bow was added into, into Call of Duty, it would be some cheese fest weapon. You know, they already got the crossbow and, you know, they, they did all sorts of things. Call of Duty is like the NBA jam of first-person shooters. Like, when you want to play something that's quick and easy and it doesn't involve really any skill, then you play Call of Duty. Like, uh, this game is kind of... It, it, I'm not saying this is the most tactful game or you, you got to have the strategies that you get together with your team and you, and you mark out sectors and people uh, observe an area. But... The, the fact that they added the, the cloaking and the armor, that's something that adds a different type of, um, it adds a different level to the game because you have to uh, strategize when are you going to use your cloak, when are you going to use your armor. I have the auto armor and uh, some people might say that's a bitch move, but you know what, I don't care. I don't care. If I have the opportunity to have armor that automatically comes on, I'm going to use it. And after this match, I unlock um, something that helps me reload faster, uh, like sleight of hand and some other crap. But, yeah, I'm really liking this game. I think the next match that I play, uh, which will probably be tomorrow, is going to be with the shotgun. That, that first shotgun that you unlock is a pump shotgun, the Marshall something or other. Uh, I'm going to call it the Marshall Mathers because, you know, everybody likes Slim Shady. But uh, it's I think that... I'm going to start playing this game more and more, and I'm going to start stop playing Call of Duty as much, especially Black Ops 2. Like, I was so pissed. I'm so close to getting Diamond Camo on Black Ops 2, but that game is so frustrating, frustrating that I just, I can't, it, it makes me want to punch baby seals in the mouth. That's how bad it is, and I don't want to do that. Like, I like, I mean, baby seals, I don't have anything against them, but after playing a couple matches of Call of Duty, I want to murder them. Anyway... 
uh, again, this game looks amazing. The sound's amazing. It's uh, you got to have a certain level of uh, strategy <laughs> that you have to use, and it's a really fun game. It's fast paced. It's amazing. And uh, this match again, I went beast mode. But anyway, like this video. Talk to me about it. We'll chit chat. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.